you gay. Bye. Gay. Woo! Woo! Welcome back. So, this episode. This episode, very interesting. I don't think it's, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> As I say with no context. Okay, um, to explain what we're doing. Number one, happy Pride Month, everybody. Number two, I don't know how she talked me into this. We are reading Gay Erotica. Hooray, Rainbow Yay, Bond. Yay, Gay Erotica! Woo! I feel like this is very ace exclusionary. I'm going to say that right now, but I will accept it because I love you for who you are, and I realize that you enjoy reading this stuff, and some of our viewers may enjoy listening to this stuff, so I'm going to sit here and cringe while you read this. I don't think it's that sexual. I, I really don't think so. I haven't seen the word My dude? penis or anything. My dude? What? Kissing is too sexual oh, for yeah, me. I guess so. I am very, like, sex adverse, if you will. Do you think mouths are sexual organs? I think they can be used for sexual pleasure. I don't think they're inherently sexual in nature. My mouth is a sex toy. Yes. I mean, in some, <laughs> w- in, in some ways you could say, oh, boobs aren't meant to be inherently sexual. But I feel like, even if you're a lesbian, let's be real here, titties. I like titties. So my whole thing is I'm kind of like... Even if you want to say, oh, they're not inherently sexual, mm-hmm. if you see them as sexual, then they're sexual. Yeah. I guess if you want to see, there are some people that are attracted to likes. There are some people that are attracted to feet. So I guess technically every part of you can be a sexual part of you. Some people have balloon fetishes. Balloon or ballroom. You couldn't balloon. get that right earlier when we were reading, so. <laughs> you think the, weir- the weirdest fetish that I, I don't like? Sneezing. There's a fetish for sneezing? Yeah, yeah there is. I mean, it is called the petite mort little death or um tickling Ooh, i can't do that one either tickling just makes me want to pee yeah that's a fetish though <laughs> <laughs> like how you just looked at me <laughs> that's a fetish anyways so i'm gonna read some gay one shots from wattpad so abby doesn't have to read it yep so we, we discussed this beforehand and it was like do you want to nope this was a little <laughs> bit long we'll see how long it takes us to get through but it's called breathe and it's for some reason from over here i thought i said beatrice <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. it's not I, I, as uh, what I can tell. It's not um, lesbian gay. It's gay gay. It's MLM gay. Mm. But um, breathe. It's part multi level marketing gay, huh? MLM means men loving men. <laughs> men loving men. men A- loving AKA um, MM gay. M and M gay. No, MM gay. MM gay. Masculine, masculine, gay, instead of FF gay, which is feminine, feminine, gay. We got feminine gays. That is true. <laughs> That's probably why they ended up changing it to women loving women and men loving men. That could be why the acronym has changed over the years. All right. So this is part of a, of a series. Oh, no. Of gay one shots by Tanner underscore voice four on Wattpad. We'll see how good it is. Okay. Okay. I mean, let's be real. And we're just going to acknowledge this now. Nothing will ever be any of the Trudeau fiction that we read. Oh, not, not at all. A B movie. I still love you. You are the one person I will stand. I will fight to the death for you. I love you. (laughs) That's it. PSA over. I like how I even forgot what a B movie was. I didn't. And then I, I heard you say a B movie and I'm like, you, can't, you don't love a bee movie? No, I don't. I actually hate bees. It's very well known bees. that I can't stand bees. And the worst thing to me is the bee movie. Yeah. Because it's like literally a relationship between a bee and a human. And I'm mm-hmm. very bothered by that. One day you just need to see my reaction to it. Because oh, I true. hate oh, it with a passion. So good. One day we should just You know, they the made a really thing. terrible uh, movie tie-in video game about that. Really? One day you and I should try to find it and play oh, it. Lord. And then watch what happens. Okay, okay. Are you ready? No, never. Okay. You didn't have to do that, Rai. It would have been fine. No, it's not fine, Dev. He was being a douche. You're too sweet. I can't believe you knocked out a 200-pound defender for me. It's no big deal. I stop by the yearbook room and slide in silently to see Devin slumped over a Mac editing pictures. Hey, I whisper, sliding my hands over his eyes. Hi, he giggles. God, he is so cute. What are you doing, I ask, resting my head on his shoulder. He smells like sandalwood and raspberries. It's intoxicating. <laughs> Strange combo. I look at the Mac and, he's, and see he's editing a picture of me. The stadium lights are on and the and sun is setting behind me, casting shadows. Everyone, casting shadows. Everyone else is blurred, but you can see my face. My helmet is off and you can see the sweat running down my forehead. Whoa, you're good, I whisper. Thanks. He's blushing again. He turns his head fast, forgetting that my head is on his shoulder and our lips crash together. 
Crash Together Hurricane Crash Together Hurricane Meets Island. And I can't get enough. He tastes like strawberries and honey. And but I, I thought he closer. smelled like raspberries and sandalwood. But he tastes like strawberries and honey. Uh, I think that's a weird mix, strawberries and honey. I like honey, but not like I this. I don't like honey. It tastes kind of farty. <laughs> I, I don't know where your taste buds are at. He tastes like strawberries and farts. <laughs> <laughs> Most romantic thing ever said. Okay, 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 okay. I, <laughs> I kiss him till I forget whose air I'm breathing, till my lips go numb. <clears throat> I slide my hands into his hair, and I pull, him, I pull him back, this one hungrier than the last. Mm. He pushes my chest, tracing his finger down my chest, his other hand on my bicep. I bite his lip and tug, and he moans in my mouth. <clears throat> I pull back, and he whimpers. <laughs> he whimpers. <clears throat> I'm sorry... But we are in a school, and I don't want to fuck you on a desk. <laughs> There's a fetish for that. He bl- <laughs> is that our new catchphrase? At, le- at least, uh, I mean, that is the, yeah. that's the international yeah. catchphrase for any LGBT person. There's a fetish for that. <laughs> He's still breathing hard, so I grab his inhaler from his bag and hand it to him. Okay, so this is typical nerd meets yeah. jock. He shakes it twice before taking two pumps, and he's breathing normally again. I rub his back and hold him close to me. Aww. I have to go. It's 6.15, and I promised my mom I would be home by now, he says. And I can't help but feel like I chased him off. He gets up, and I walk him to his car. I look at the field, and lacrosse is just getting out. I kiss him again, a small peck, before he hops into his blue little Mini Cooper. Cute car, I say. Thanks. The white racing stripes make me feel like a real badass, I laugh. Are you excited tomorrow? Are you excited for tomorrow? Yes, I don't even know what I'm going to wear, but yes. You'll look cute no matter what, babe. Did I call him babe? Did he blush? Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow then. Most definitely, yes. Bye, Rye. Bye, Dev. Oh, so cute, but bad at the same time. Yeah. Okay. It's 7 o'clock, and I have to pick, up, pick Devin up in 30 minutes. I've never been this nervous, not even before a big game. I fix my hair again before heading downstairs to leave. No one's home. Dad's on business. My stepmom is away for fashion week. They were sad that they were going to miss my first game, but I told them it was fine and to have fun. I head to the car, and I'm trying to decide on music, so I ask him. He says indie, which I've never heard, but I will, suffi- <laughs> but I will suffice for him. That's not the right word. Suffer like Suffer me. Suffer like you. <laughs> like me. I pick him up. He has a nice house with a bright red front door. He walks out in oh, black. Oh, so they paid off their mortgage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that random factoid came from. Okay. He walks out in black distressed skinny jeans, a white crochet sweater, and his yellow converse, and my breathing hitches. He has, he has his glasses on, and you can see his freckles that litter his nose. Hey, he says as he, opens, as he opens the door. Whoa, is all I managed to say. God, he is so beautiful. Stop, he giggles. Why are you so fucking beautiful? <laughs> he looks at me. You can me. tell this was written by a girl. Or, or a 14-year-old. He looks yeah. at me, and his blush is back, and I kiss him before backing out of his driveway. He's singing along to a song by some band called The Neighborhood, I think. (laughs) He's so good. I pull over by a field and climb out a field. What are you doing, he asks. Come on. Rye, I don't like surprises, he says. Me too, my dude. (laughs) You'll love it, trust me. I grab his hand (laughs) and lead him to a little spot I set up. I laid out a blanket and some pillows, some food, and we are surrounded by sunflowers, and we can see the Golden Gate Bridge perfectly from here. I boot up my laptop and play his music. He looks at me and he smiles. He pulls out his camera and starts snapping photos of us, of me, the bridge, the sea of sunflowers. We watch the sunset and I watch him take endless pictures. We talk about each other and I learn so much. When it gets dark, I pack up all the stuff and make him a bouquet of sunflowers. We head back to my house where we cuddle and watch movies. Now I know this was written by either a 14-year-old or a girl. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That date scene alone. I, I want to I wanna take a break now because I think there's... Um, spicy things? Not spicy upcoming? things, but some, some cliffhanger stuff mm. that I want to uh, wait for. 
Oh boy, you guys have that to look forward to. You I don't guys, think it's that spicy. You guys can tell. It's I'm so spicy. excited. Don't worry about it. Mm. It's not that spicy. I don't think it gets spicy at all, actually. I think it just gets sweet. Sweetness, I may be able to handle. I may still be a little bit disgusted, but it's better than anything spicy. Y'all know I don't do well with spicy Be food or spicy content. Better than strawberries and honey? <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Gay by Gay. Y'all are not going to believe what the hell this woman just said to me. So, so Abby was talking about how I, w I, we had stopped recording and I said, how does like a man's mouth taste like strawberries and honey? And Abby was like, well, I just think that mouths probably taste like gross, like bacteria and stuff. Well, I find it ridiculous. Every single piece of romance fiction you read is a hundred percent like, oh, they tasted like wine or strawberries or honey. And I'm like, no, they taste like the bacterial colony in their mouth. <laughs> yeah. I guess View, so. Views from an ace person. Just, I love sitting here and I'm like, no, they don't, they don't taste like honey. They don't taste like raspberries. They don't taste like chocolate. I mean, I will give you that maybe one of them can taste like mint if they just brush their teeth. But for the most part, what you are tasting is this disgusting bacterial swash. Yeah, and I hate swash. it. Swash. I hate it. <laughs> and ah. then I said, well, I want to tell you something disturbing. And I said, what do you think dicks taste like? And uh, Abby's, <laughs> Abby says, well, you, 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 you know what you think a ball, what you think a ball sack smells like? I go, yeah. She's like, I think that's what dicks taste well, like. Well, I, I think it tastes like a mix of, like, skin, BO, sweat, and, like, you know, like, if you were to imagine what a ball sack smells like, that, like, that's what it's going to taste like, with a mixture of pubic hair thrown in, just for a yeah. little bit of I, texture. <laughs> texture. Texture. I think... In my experience, it just mostly tastes like skin. Like if you licked your arm or something, just like random skin. Yeah, but as I said to you, I feel like when someone's junk has been tucked into their pants all day, I feel like it's going to get a lot grosser and a lot sweatier, and that disgusts me. That's like licking a fucking armpit. Guys, shower See my problem? sometimes. And this is why I decided <laughs> that we needed to talk about this, because Aaliyah says the phrase, you know, guys shower sometimes. <laughs> my dude... Sometimes it's clean, and then I proceed. Just occasionally. Most men, no, never this shower. This is graphic. If you're young or if you're, you're, you don't want to hear about dicks, don't listen. Run. If I, okay, if I had a penis, I had, I had a appendage like that, and it, I You was, would use it as a helicopter. Yes, but also, if I was, like, uncircumcised, I tell you, like, every day on that puppy, I'm, like, rolling the skin back and using a Q-tip to get all the dick cheese off. Smegma. No. Yep. Because I just don't, I feel like it gets itchy. Maybe that's why guys scratch their balls so much. Their balls and their penis are not, like, yes, they're connected, they're but they're connected. not the same thing. Yeah, but I would assume. I don't feel like most people scratch the head of their penis, but then again, I don't have one, so I don't Ooh. know. I heard that, like, you don't want to, like, dab your pee-pee with, like, toilet paper because then the toilet paper sticks and it hurts to peel it off. I could imagine that, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I don't, want I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel like we have that problem no. as women, even though technically we have a clitoris, which yeah. is technically just like a I, penis stub. Usually I don't dab my clit. Yeah. That, that sounds much, weird. That this sounds is weird. too much information. It's just bodies. And I mean, it yes, bodies nice. are disgusting, but even, see, I'm more comfortable talking yeah. about it in an anatomical sense than yeah. in a sexual sense. Well, you gotta, men. You gotta wash your dicks. Please. Because, like, dicks going into, like, women's vaginas, there's very specific pHs. Yeah, you know what, honey, Eric, I don't need you to screw up my pH balance and have a yeast colony grown well, downstairs. Like, you Thank got, you. Women, you gotta look at your, your boyfriends or whoever has a dick in your life who's gonna put it in you and go, like... Hopefully not your dad. <laughs> your face! I can't. Okay. And just Hopefully not your uncle either. Oh, God. Hopefully not your cousin. Stop talking. I really hope it's not your brother. <laughs> what are you doing, step bro? But ah, anyway, I'm stuck. Look, look at whoever is going to put either a dildo or a penis in you and go, sorry, but you have to wash that. Yep. Good hygiene. Put that thing back where it came from. Or so, so help me. Anyways, All right. we, <laughs> we should probably keep reading. Yeah. With the um, cliffhanger. Now, now that we've gone on, like, this tangent of... Okay. Dick cheese. So, uh, last sentence. We head back to my house where we cuddle and watch movies. Are you out? He asks me. No, I answer. Are you? 
Yeah, for about a year. Didn't they kiss Whoa. in the parking lot at school? No, they kissed at the desk at school. I think accidentally. But didn't, I didn't, don't know. Didn't they give them like a he gave him a quick peck before he got yeah. in his car? Yeah. So they kiss. Yeah. In the open. And, and yeah. But neither of them are out. Yeah. Well, no, one of them is. The other one isn't. But they were okay with that in public when I guess one of them's so. not out. I, I guess so. I Wouldn't you ask that before kissing someone in public and be like, "Hey, are you okay if you're yeah. not out with me kissing know. you in public?" I don't know how how this is happening, but unhealthy relationship. Don't okay. like. Do you think you ever will? Maybe I don't know. Okay, he says before kissing me. Not good for the longevity soft, here. A soft peck and cuddles into my side and falls asleep. I fall asleep a little later. When I wake up, there is a text from him. Hey, sorry, I didn't want to wake you up, so Rose came and got me. It wouldn't have been a problem, Siri. but okay. Oh! I'm sorry to Siri. <laughs> I don't know what you did to activate her, but all of a sudden Siri started talking Siri to me. Siri didn't want to hear any more gay. So. <laughs> Siri was like, please stop. Siri I, I said have... no more gay. She said not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry, okay. where were you? Okay. Um, hey, sorry, I didn't want to wake you up, so Rose came and got me. Who's it w- Rose? I don't know. It wouldn't have been a problem, but okay. I pack all my gear because our first game is tonight, and everyone will be there. All I, th- all I can think about is the game and Devin. I go over plays in my head all day, over and over, and when the intercom co- calls us out of 8th block to go get ready, my heart is hammering a million miles per hour. <laughs> my heart is hammering a million miles per hour. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> You're okay. I didn't know hearts traveled. <laughs> Be yeah. You should be saying my heart was beating a million. No, no. A million times per hour. I, it doesn't. I feel. Beat I feel. Miles. My heart beats no, miles. No, I feel. I feel like that is the common way that it's referred is to. It? When I'm when I really stop to think about it, I feel like that is the common way of referring to it. Huh. Uh, per hour. Not even for a second. Per hour. per hour. I find Devin and he wishes me good luck and kisses me. I thought one of you wasn't I, I, out I yet. I don't know what's going Help on. Help me. It's, ha- it's half. It's half and the stadium lights are on. We are losing, but the crowd is still going wild. Devin is snapping pictures. Coach is screaming to pull our heads out of our asses. And all no. I can think about is Devin. I think he's my soulmate. He makes me so happy, and we fit together perfectly. When we are apart, I want to be with him. It's been three days, but it feels like years. Try Bolton, feels... get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your head, head in, in the, the game. game. <laughs> but it feels like years. He feels like home. Ravens on three. Coach yells, knocking me out of my days. One, two, three, Ravens! We scream, and the crowd loses it. I have... I'd be listening to it, too. I have the ball, and I'm ducking and weaving, running, a, running down the field. I pass it to Sam, who fires it to Zach, who fires it back to me. And out of the corner of my eye, I see yellow converse running down the sidelines, and everything slows. I see his breathing, and I see him collapse, and I'm screaming. I drop my racket, throw off my helmet, and run to him, not caring about the game, because I need to help him. When I reach him, he's wheezing, and I think he's having an, an uh, asthma attack. Are you good? No. As- asthma attack? Yeah. That. I ask where his inhaler is, and he points to his front pocket. Why didn't he get out himself? I was going to say, <laughs> you know what? I have a lot of people in my life that has yeah. asthma. Calm down, Carl Weezer. Yeah. <laughs> a lady beside me is calling 911. I it's sh- an asthma attack. Calm down. I shake his inhaler twice before realizing it is empty. I press my As an mouth asthmatic, to his. how do you not know that if you're going to be running? I press my mouth to his and breathe. That's not how this works! <laughs> Nothing happens. I realize I'm crying and suddenly I'm being thrown off. Oh my god. We are in the hospital and the doctor just told us Devin's lungs are failing. But what? Stop! <laughs> his mother bursts into a river. I wrap my arms around Rose. Who is Rose? As she shakes. <laughs> We, t- we each t- took tests for lung transplants. What? None of us match. It's not a kidney. I hold his hand and try to be strong, but I end up bawling into his shoulder. An alarm starts going off and nurses flood in, shooting us out. <laughs> shooting us out of the room, slamming the door ba- shut behind them. All I can hear is clear, clear, clear. That's it. I don't know where to start. Okay, you know what? It was going just fine until we got to the end here, and I'm sorry. This was, uh, you know, before I was like, oh, it's definitely written by a girl. No, no, no. This is definitely written by a 14-year-old who has a random asthma. Okay, 
this person is supposedly a photographer of sorts. He knows he's going to be photographing the game. Yeah. So you know that you're going to be running. Yeah. Number one, why is your inhaler not filled? Number two, if your asthma is that bad, you would always have a backup with you. Yeah. You would always have, like, a prescription refill. Yeah. Number three, who the hell continues running when they're having an asthma attack? The second you feel one coming on, you're either sitting down or something trying to recover. Number three, do, does this person know how asthma works? I don't know. You don't just randomly collapse from asthma and then all of a sudden go into, like, oh, his lungs are failing. We need a lung transplant. That's not how that works. And also clear he's not having a heart attack they put him on a ventilator he doesn't get he does not get the oh my god he's also been dating this kid for three days ah it was going just fine and and i don't know what happened but yet he outed himself by trying to give him the kiss of life he gave him mouth to mouth when he wasn't even passed out he's not choking and here's the thing, guess what? When you have an asthma attack, your lungs start closing. So guess what, honey? No matter how much CO2 you breathe into his lungs, it's you, not going to help you him. Di- you die of, like, suffocation, not that your lungs are failing. God. It was going just fine, and I have nothing to say now. It was kind of sweet. I like how it's supposed to be erotica, but, and it's not even close to erotica. Why is this under erotica? I don't know. But then it, like, wraps up so fast. That was, that escalated quickly. Clear. 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 His lungs Clear. aren't working. We need a replacement lung. Oh, my God. He's somehow having a heart attack now. Who uh, is Rose? <laughs> we never did find out who Rose was. I don't know. Okay, guys. So this was supposed to be erotica, but it wasn't erotica. I feel vastly more comfortable than I did before, but now I also feel irritated because, number one, you let me down because there was no erotica, <laughs> and number two, what the fuck just happened? I, I did tell you I didn't see any dicks. This is true. I am thankful for this. Okay, well, Thank you guys for yeah. listening. I guess that's it. Be sure to share the share the podcast. Share the podcast. I mean, you can share it too if yeah. you want. You can give it a place at your dining table. If but. you want to send us an edit of the story and add some sex to it or something, I don't know. Aaliyah will read those ones. I will. I will read them on the podcast. So if you want to do it, do it. But we love you. Please keep sharing us around. We've been getting more views recently, and it's been going good. But let's let's widen our family. Let's get GBG more. family. GBG cult. Mmm. We need to talk about cults one day. You oh guys God. know I love me a good cult story. Good cults. Good mm. cults. Well, no, no, not good cults. But <laughs> don't join Scientology, please. Don't join Scientology. Are the Mormons? <laughs> don't do that either. Anyways, we love you guys. Thank Happy you Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Happy Gay. And we hope that you will take it. Yay, bye, gay guys. Bye.